Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. What's going Shalom. on? Shalom. Wow. It has been a minute. How are you all doing tonight, Habibis? Uh, first of all, I'm Suraj Hashmi. I'm Jack Kobe. And we're the Habibi Bros. Uh, we are back back jay we're so fucking back right now we are so back and not just back we are we are coming on the backs of the back i i noticed how that when you uh said your wow they come you want you you pause you you held it on the come part which don't think i didn't notice that jay i do that for you Habibi. i do it for you so um we're here we're, we're here and we're we're ready uh to celebrate Hanukkah and take these shirts off once and for all. So happy Hanukkah is the, the last night of Hanukkah. We are, right. we're so ready. We're also, and, we're also and, ready to, um, actually it's middle of the month, Jay, uh, middle of month, middle of December, but we haven't done any of the lists from November. So we, like we're, not, we're just doing it on our own schedule. This, this is absolutely true. And and for the Habibis, you know, who are wondering why it's been taking us all this long. I know I've been uh, I've been doing some of the streams and letting you guys know, but uh, I was moving from uh, California to Florida. I'm here now. Uh, me and Siraj are in the same vicinity of one another. So uh, yeah. if, like if we get thrown. Yeah, if we get thrown into camps, then we know that you can't be gay in 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 Florida any longer. That that is true, and also for those of you uh, wondering where where the hell I've been, well, I went ahead and just like started a family, so you know. Oh wait, wait, are you are you doing what I think you're doing right now? Are you? I mean, it has it? Bad, Jay. Well, oh, is it has it been out of the bag? I mean, I I've been pretty much out of the bag. I've been trying so hard, like not to 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 say it when I've been doing streams on like where you've been and why you haven't been here. But yes, and also you can hear it in the background too, with the things that are going around in your in your home. Mm-hmm. That uh, Siraj started a family. Got a little and one. Uh, and uh, her name is Janice. That's right, Jay niece. I named I named her Jay's niece, Jay niece. I mean, it's a fitting name. It's an absolute fitting name. I think she's gonna she's gonna be a rock star. She is going to to um, carry my legacy with pride. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> so how's it feel? How's it feel to be a father? Like, I mean, it's been it's been a wild ride. Honestly, like knowing a lot of the ins and outs of what what was uh, been going on with everything, um, but how how have you? Oh, I'm great. Man. How I, have you changed? I will. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I'll never be the same again, for sure. Like the Siraj you saw a couple months ago on stream, that that Siraj doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so. But it, I like how you're saying that Siraj doesn't doesn't exist anymore. But we can go through your Twitter feed and see the exact same kind of degenerate dad jokes that have made that have never stopped. Okay, that <laughs> part have, of Siraj I have matured crazy. as as a man, and I want to make sure that she is proud when she looks up Siraj Hashmi on <laughs> on Google. <laughs> the first thing the first thing that's gonna come up is Fuzzy's fucking um, uh, uh, Photoshop. Of us, I don't think you've seen it. I just I retweeted it. it. Do you have a? Do you have a? a, a we yeah. can't show it. We can't. We can't show it. You can't like, show it. Even, even on Rumble's, like Rumble is is far and away for free speech and everything. But th- that Photoshop, 
I don't even think we can show uh, on Rumble. Um, I'm scared now. Now I got. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Retweet it for the Habibi so they can see it right now and we can see their live reactions. <laughs> um should, uh, should I retweet that? I don't know if I should. <laughs> How about this? Why don't we retweet it from the Habibi Bros account? <laughs> that that makes sense. We could that, do probably, that. that makes more sense. Ben, you're our you're our intern. Go ahead and retweet that shit if you can. He, he should be able to get in the BB Bros account. I mean, he's had the access for months now. If he can't do a simple retweet, then maybe we should just fire his ass. Yeah. I think. Um, I, think. I think I think that is. I mean, we spent five minutes on teaching him how to use his computer uh, on, on StreamYard. That so is true. That. We did try to teach him how to use a computer. And um, uh, it he was... doesn't know how to use one. <laughs> We should we should honestly record those and and just uh, tweet them on uh, or, or post them on Twitter and it would be boomers teaching boomers. That is that is yes. That would be that would be a, a nice uh, series that we can we can post for the happy. So the nice thing is is that in 2024, um, when you know we get to start off to the new year, we welcome uh, January 6th. Um, that being Jay's birthday, not the 9-11 times, <laughs> times 69. Um, but we also will be in the same area. So we're going to come at you with like a whole new like approach. Like I, I don't know what it's going to look like, but I can tell you, Jay, kind of hard right now. Oh, dude, I've been hard since I've been moving uh, from California to Florida with all of these ideas that we have for the show and being able to be right next to each other. We're, we're one thing we're definitely uh, going to be bringing back are the cold opens. Mm -hmm. um, another thing we're going to be doing is a different kind of setup where we're going to be able to, to do these, you know, face to face um, and, and actually have and a little bit more ass to face. Well, that's, that's what I meant by face to face. Okay. I'm just trying ass, to make sure that the DBs know. Face -face. That that's what they're going to we're going and to that's what experience. So, the, 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 the first thing we're going to do though, when we're when we're uh, with each other, doing a stream together, is waxing your chest. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. We're going to be doing it on locals. It's going to be a locals only stream for for our subscribers uh, and followers that are on there. And we you still can use the code active J. Yes. Um, that means in. If you use the promo code Siraj takes it on the chest, um, you can get, what is it? It's like up to three months off because already the, pro, the, the, the original annual subscription gives you two months off. So Siraj takes it on the chest, gives you an extra month off. So it's like uh, you're only paying for nine months of access when really you're getting a full year. That's a hell of a deal. And, we know Jay because we're 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 basically uh, what's it called? We're sellouts <laughs> according to, <laughs> according to the rest of uh, the Arab the most of an Arab world. We are we are complete one hundred percent essentially sellouts. Essentially one hundred percent sellouts. Flapper on local says anyone concerned with how comfortable Jay was with being depicted as Siraj's bottom? Um. It's an interchangeable position that him and I uh, go through from time to time, and uh, honestly, it's 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 totally okay. I mean, look, the bottom position are the friends we've made along the way. That's right. That's the bottom line, Jay. And we bottom for it. That's right. Um. Oh, Roy Mesker says happy belated birthday to the list. That's right. Jay, did you know that the list is now four years old? That is insane. It's it's already completed its college degree in which it did it earned a degree in what Jay? It uh med no not medical school in, in business uh administration. That's the degree it earned in. I was gonna go with an even more worthless degree. 
gender studies? No. Try again. Liberal arts. Every single degree from college. <laughs> uh, oh, real quick. Uh, Zimist, Zimist on, on Rumble. Last night I had a dream I was moving to Florida. I woke up with the relief that I'm still neighbors with Carl in Ohio, the greatest state of America. <laughs> I love how... I love how you didn't actually say neighbors with Carl. You just inserted that in there. It isn't there. That's where it says it. It says it on there with neighbors. Rory Metzger says the degree that is worse than uh, what you suggested is journalism. Oh, yeah. That's uh, that's actually, also that's a complete actually, yeah, worthless degree. And we're going to see some of the takes that's from journalists the, themselves. It's probably the height of worthlessness. Of, oh, yeah. That. So. Uh-huh. For those of you who don't know, the list is a it's it's a top ten power ranking of the worst takes that you've seen on the website X, also known as Twitter. Now, we the last time we did one of these streams, it was maybe it was right before um, Baby came along, and what happened was we did. Uh, oh wait, no, it was right after actually. I did one stream, Jay, one stream after Baby came. Um, I, I like popped my head up, did the list stream, and then went back into hiding again. Yes. And it was for the month of October. And we basically, pretty much all the tweets were about Israel Palestine. So we called the list yeah. a list time um, for that month. But basically, uh, you know, we compile all these, these horrible, horrible tweets or posts now. Um, and then by the end of the year, we have like basically a, a or the beginning of the next year, we have a uh, like a tournament to decide what the worst tweet was for the previous year. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be coming. <laughs> Come. Come. So without further ado, let's get to our first tweet. And this comes from the Jerusalem Post, which is now a deleted tweet. Um, I'll go ahead and start with this one, Jay. And then... Uh, Let's just let's just see how how we feel um, because we're probably going to hang ourselves after going through all these. Oh yeah, this is it's going to get bad. Yeah. So the Jerusalem Post tweets out fears of rockets and missiles amid Israel's war with Hamas, putting millions of Israelis in a constant state of anxiety and stress. But you can actually use this stress to lose weight and stay healthy. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Think about sure the Germans are starving you in Kansas, but that's a great way to stay in shape. Yeah, I mean, just uh, thank Hamas for allowing you to drop that uh, ten to fifteen pounds of anxiety ridden, wondering whether or not the the your family members who have been taken hostage are still alive. Yeah, or I not. Mean, think about the you know, just think about all the Hanukkah presents you don't have to get next year, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that could, yeah. that's a relief right there. That's a relief. Or well, you know. instead of, you know, instead of getting a full thing of, of cheese and, and uh, meats, you're, you're only going to get half a thing of cheese and meats. Yeah. Because... Think of about all the money you're saving. Yeah. I just. And it's, know. it's hilarious because all of these, look, you want to lose weight. You don't need to go into the middle of a war zone or get kidnapped. All you got to do is stop. Put in that burger in your fucking face, Carl from Ohio. Put it down <laughs> and be in a calorie deficit and just run for 15 minutes and you will lose weight very easily. 15 minutes out of your day. Just put that fucking burger down or what is it that they eat in Ohio? Oh, yeah. Uh, was it deep ditch pizza or no, it's tomato soup. That's that's the Ohio like like dish of I think I believe it's skyline fish. chili, Jay. What is Ohio? What is Ohio? Are you Googling what is Ohio known for? The answer is nothing. And food. Okay, Cincinnati chili. Yeah, Skyline chili. Buckeyes. What the fuck are Buckeyes? What are hot browns? Sloppy Joes. Cleveland style pizza. Hey, you and I know we like getting sloppy from a guy named Joe. Right? Yes. 
Here's Cleveland style pizza. Let's see and what we is get the sloppiest of toppy. From All right, so Cleveland style pizza looks like actual cum on your <laughs> on your meats. That's what it looks like. Okay. All right. So no wonder why you're fat, Carl. This makes a whole lot of sense. Right. I mean, God. I mean, look, look at look. I'll show you Carl right now. Show us. I'm ready. Here Lay he is, hold, holding his pizza. <laughs> Just fucking put it down, Carl. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, that that looks like Carl. And I remember Carl. That's that's one hundred percent him. Anyways, that's number ten. Let's look at number nine, Jay. Jay, uh, let me zoom in here so you can read this shit. This is uh, <laughs> this is our girly here. You want to take this one? This is from Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Uh, taking on hate is a national priority today. Uh, POTUS and I are announcing the country's first national strategy to counter Islamophobia. The action is the latest step forward in our work to combat a surge of hate in America. There's a whole fucking three minute, almost four minute video to go with it. Do you want to just see how long we can go with it? Let's just Without, do it. All right. Our nation this, was this founded. This might make us want to kill Muslims right now. <laughs> I never thought there was a post that would make me more Islamophobic. Um, and I'm Muslim, so. Fundamental principle that all people should have the freedom to live, to worship, and to be without fear of violence or persecution. Every person has the right to live safe from violence, hate, and bigotry. And for those reasons and so many more, President Joe Biden and I have a duty not only to keep the people Duty. of our nation safe, but to condemn unequivocally and forcefully all forms of hate. Since we took office, President Biden and I have fought to uphold that duty. Over the past decade, America has seen a rise in attacks on houses of worship. So in response, we expanded funding to protect houses of worship from violence. After a surge in hate during the pandemic, in particular, no, which which houses President of worship Biden have been attacked the or, or act to improve the reporting? Wasn't that people of like break into and to ensure last week, fake week, right? Crimes are investigated quickly. Mosque and attack? Thoroughly. Yeah, like in earlier this in year, Pennsylvania. In response to an historic Some, uh, rise of Jewish man went in and shot up we also during the first uh, Shabbat national services. strategy. Oh wait, I'm sorry. To counter anti-Semitism. <laughs> And to make oh, you're talking about Muffet, who went in and, and yelled Palestine, uh, free Palestine while he held shot at a synagogue. Summit to address hate-fueled violence, and we brought together religious leaders, community leaders, and survivors to continue our how, work to keep... I love how Kamala Harris says a whole lot and, and in the end says nothing. Oh, yeah. Uh, she Just the other day, she had this really insane veep like and and it, it's always like a veep speech where yeah. it's practically nothing and uh it, she's just saying and the words we use are specific so the understanding of those words can be understood so you don't have to think that we may be using different words when we mean these words For because when we right. when we use words we use them with intention like words are supposed to be used specifically for these scenarios are these words it's like it's so insane that that's exactly her like what anytime you bring a video up of her that that's exactly how she sounds it's fucking insane it's so how, hard to watch let's see how much more we can go all america oh there's still more man this is like an eternity <laughs> take another important step forward mind you we're almost halfway into the video and she hasn't actually said what it is that they're supposed to, they're actually going to be doing <laughs> Kevin somewhere you. duty count two for years muslims in america and those perceived to be muslim have endured a disproportionate number of hate-fueled attacks as a result of the hamas what Paris are you talking about Israel and the humanitarian crisis in gaza we have seen an uptick in anti-Palestinian, anti-Arab, anti-Semitic, and Islamophobic incidents. Wait, she just sandwiched anti-Semitic in there. <laughs> and, and 
Dispor- she said disproportionate. There's only one form of hate that has been disproportionate this whole fucking time and year on year. It's not a, it's not it's not a phobia. It doesn't even register in this disproportionate amount of hate. Duh. This is so fucking insane. That I mean, you have like, for example, and it and it goes with with every other uh, time. There's some sort of hate crime that happens, like when Mufti goes and shoots up and says Palestine would be free, Allah Akbar, and shoots up a synagogue. These fucks, the first thing they do instead of condemning anti-Semitism, they come up and say Islamophobia is a problem. And it's like, uh, I don't. I mean, yeah, I think people should be afraid of guys who are saying Allahu Akbar and shooting up their fucking places of worship. I, I, I think that's a justifiable fear. I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay, real quick. I have to get to this because this is too good. Um, <laughs> we may take some of that stuff, too. The NFL did the thing. They did the thing. Look what it says. Joshua Palmer scores a 79 touchdown to cut the lead down to 42. <laughs> 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 he, and Joshua Palmer is in my IR. Oh no! Well, luckily Please, I'm on. Something high. good happens for the Chargers. Amazing, just amazing. All right, back to the program. Uh, amazing. <laughs> this is so stupid. Holy shit! Seven forty nine. That is insane. Insane. Attack of a Palestinian American woman who was Muslim and the killing of her six-year-old son. Okay, once again, uh, I know this is like a month ago, a month and a half ago, Jay. Um, right. But where is this energy on anti-Semitic? Like she sandwiches anti-Semitic in that list just to say that she has all her bases covered. But we know it's all bullshit. Like it's, it's, a, it's a buried lead to all of this and she rightfully deserves the list i i don't even want, need to watch anymore because no, we, don't. We, need and to, the, we need to get to the next anti-semite and that and, is and, uh, rashida Tlaib. <laughs> have you seen this video jay have you seen it we yes stand with israel get ready <laughs> Mr. President, the American people are not with you on this one. Innocent civilians are going to be hurt going forward. I wish I could tell you something different. I wish that that wasn't going to happen, uh, but it is it is going to happen. I want to thank President Biden for his unequivocal support. We will remember in 2024. Uh, they still call it. It's so crazy that you, that the 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 word genocide is being thrown around like that. I know. It's, and she uh, still she still has her tweet about the hospital uh, hospital up too. Well, the one that we listed last. Uh, Right, that still hasn't gone away. So she made the top 10 for that uh, in the previous month. But if you read the the follow tweet, um, she writes, From the river to the sea is an aspirational call for freedom, human rights, and peaceful coexistence. Not death, destruction, or hate. My work in advocacy is always centered on injustice and dignity for all people, no matter faith or ethnicity. (sighs) It's it's amazing that these are the same people that will will claim that there's a dog whistle in a smirk of a white boy or somebody, you know, putting up the 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 three sign or putting up the peace sign or anything like that. They will claim white supremacy and they will claim hate or they'll claim anti-Semitism and they'll make all these different kind of claims over the smallest minute fucking details and claim it's a dog a dog whistle. And when they they themselves are shouting at the top of their lungs, literally the genocide 
and uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the, the destruction and eradication of the state of Israel and everything that's in it, we have to we have to pretend like there's some sort of context behind it and everything. Or because they are the ones who are considered brown, they're the ones who are justified in their killing of innocent people. It's and what's fucking insane. hilarious is that there is no – you will not find a difference between a fucking uh, Israeli – Arab and Israeli Jew with a Palestinian, with a Jordanian, with a fucking Syrian, with a Lebanese, with a fucking uh, 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 some Moroccans. Like they're all within the same fucking lineage. I mean, I get I get the uh, uh, what's it called um, confused with uh, with Mexicans and and Black Africans all the time. Well, especially when I take my pants off. But Hold usually on. I Wait. get confused with like Syrians, Palestinians. Uh, Egyptian. Hey, uh, I always thought you were East Asian when you took your pants off. Koreans have the biggest dicks in uh, <laughs> the Asian race. All right. If wait, but, you... but they all they they all <laughs> they all look very hold on, hold on, fucking similar How to one it, another. You know that. And they're all, I mean, you can find blonde haired, blue eyed Palestinians. I know because I was a classmates with them when I was in Dubai. Uh, the, the, you will be hard pressed to see if you had a Jordanian, Palestinian, uh, even an Israeli or a fucking Syrian all next to each, uh, each other, a Lebanese, you'd be hard pressed to see the, the, any difference between the two, especially when it comes to skin co uh, complexion. So the, the hierarchy of their fucking, uh, Oppression is 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 amazing. Amazing how they they spin it for it to work. Yeah. So you know, while we're talking about all this stuff uh, about anti-Semitism and the Jews, we actually, um, Jay, I don't I don't know how this happened. Okay, I don't know how this happened, but for some reason, we got a sponsor. This this is like this is massive, ma massive. Okay, so we actually have a sponsor for the list now. The list is spot. The list is like a NASCAR car with just says generic. Just spot. Actually, we do have a sponsor. It's a <laughs> if Ben knows how to share his screen like the boomer that he is, then I think we actually have it. So. Since we're celebrating Hanukkah and the survival of the Jewish people, we want to talk to you about a very unique product that can help you and your loved ones be prepared and survive any medical emergency, no matter when it strikes. Uh, yeah, it's the medical emergency kit developed by the wellness company. And this amazing uh, kit holds eight life-saving medications that every American should keep in their medicine cabinet. It includes antibiotics, antivirals, antiparasitics, medications like uh, uh, amoxicillin, ivermectin, uh, and z -packs. And it comes with a 22-page guidebook with instructions on safe use for each medication. 22 pages, so not even our boomerness can mess something like that up. So those of you who have been tuning into the show know that we're facing regular or facing natural disasters supply chain shortages, and global calamities on a regular basis. You may also know that this show started during the COVID lockdowns in April 2020 uh, when we had shortages across the board and we're desperate for ways basically to protect ourselves. Essentially 100%. This is exactly the type of product that we've been looking for. And we're so grateful the wellness company has made it available. And also, and I will say, it chose us to sponsor them. Wait, no, wait, they're sponsoring us. Chose us to, uh, yes, chose, chose See, us to be to sponsor There was us. always going to be some way that we messed this up, and it just so happened to be me. <laughs> yes, and the wellness and and the wellness company is, uh, it was founded by base doctors who actually get it, uh, like, D, uh, like Dr. Peter McCall, uh, and they're 100% committed to supporting our health and well-being. So to be prepared for the unexpected and make sure your family and the people you care about are prepared, visit TWC forward slash HB. That's HB for Habibi bros 
for to save 10% at checkout. Uh, this is a great gift that you can you can give to anyone you care about. Uh, it's practical, it's unique, it's easy to use, uh, and you know you never know what could happen. Me moving here to Florida right now uh, with hurricanes uh, that could that could you know uh, have uh, su- uh, the supply within within the CBSs within medical stores uh, really be depleted. This will really help uh, have me prepared. So everybody should have this in their medical cabinet. I would know, Jay. I almost went to medical school. It's essential. Oh, 100%. So, yeah, go check that shit out. Um, <laughs> no, actually, it's a legit good. Uh, it's something that we actually did need um, for a, quite a while. And Well, yeah. I mean, I remember last uh, when the hurricane came through, uh, I would say last year, uh, you guys, you, you didn't have electricity for what, like a week? electricity was out and uh, i mean the the grocery stores the cvs's when when a hurricane is said to be coming <laughs> those things go fast they really do people are people try to get prepared as quickly as they can on top uh, of that, on top of that jay um what's wild about it is that a lot of the things in that particular uh, medical emergency kit um it's it's those are things that are tough to generally get access to like you typically need a doctor's prescription to get a lot of you know even antibiotics for a lot of things yeah so um it's a it's pretty good deal so anyways um jay let's get to number what seven yes we're on seven Ooh, we got a deleted tweet here oh and we even got the we even got the tweet with the uh image blocked out (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going on with X, but that happens a lot. That like they get these uh, blocked out pictures when you're sending them, uh, even when you DM them. Uh, but Saloon coming in at number seven, going mega and Christian nationalism, bigger threat to America than Hamas could ever be. And this is, when was this posted? November 2nd. So we're, <laughs> we're, we're uh, three weeks uh, what was it? Three weeks? No, even even less than that. That was no, almost, yeah. a month was almost a month out after uh, what Hamas did, and and all the stories that have come out from Hamas, from uh, the beheading of babies to you know uh, uh, burning them alive, to to burning down houses, to torturing and killing parents in front of their children, all of these things. And they want to try to to equate this to to mega and Christians here in the uh, in the United States. I mean, the worst thing uh, mega did uh, is uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I would say like tweet out a meme in Wait. in in totality. Are you talking about in relation to like October seventh? Oh. Yeah, um, like like to compare the atrocities of uh, like uh, October seven to to what? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm just waiting for the what Mega has done. Being like, say what you want about the Nazis. At least they're not Mega. <laughs> That's exactly how uh, how they sound. That's exactly how they sound. I mean, yeah, ISIS goes and beheads and, and fucks the corpse of, of their dead enemies, but at least they're not uh, praising Jesus. At least they're not praising Jesus. No, it's insane because these people think that a per- like a, your grandmother who, who uh, tweets out a meme of uh, Jesus arm wrestling Hillary Clinton depicted as the devil is worse than ISIS. Or worse than Hamas, they these people who write these articles, these people who are in these newsrooms, actually believe this. Like this is what they hold. This is the intent and what they hold in their heart. It's fucking nuts. I love how Jay, you call them mega, not MAGA. <laughs> Honestly, I'm I, I'm proud of myself for getting Peter's last name right, Doctor. I know you actually, uh, did. you actually did get it right. I'm proud of you. Jay, I know, so I'm learning. Fun. I'm learning. I feel like we gotta 
Gotta bring back some skin, you know. Oh yeah, for the uh, for the for the old school Habibis who 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 have been with us for through thick and thin. They through want to and see through thick and thick, Jay. Through, through thick, thick and thick. And thick. They want to I see got us. Thick. I got a little dad bod. Roll yeah, on. you're yeah. you're already doing it, baby. You're getting that dad bod. Let's go. And so, I like um, what's called flapper. He was in, in his, uh, oh no, Kevin's uh, flapper. Yeah, he was like, it took Jay 15 seconds to understand. Siraj just said he had a small, small dick. Well, you know what? I refuse the stereotypes of Asians having small penises. I refuse that stereotype. Okay. I am sick and tired of this type of racism. Small <laughs> kings. Small dick emperors. Normalize small dicks amongst everyone, not yes. just Stevens. Exactly. So, Jay, we got number six up here. Um, this is a mouthful, so I'll go ahead and just start with it. Peter Singer coming in at number six saying, another thought-provoking article is zoophilia is morally permissible by Fira Benso. A pseudonym, of course, because no one would write this article with their real name on top of it, which is just out in the current issue of J-Con Ideas. This piece challenges one of society's strongest taboos and argues for the moral permissibility of some forms of sexual contact between humans and animals. Who is this written? Was this written for, by and for the Taliban? Because that's what it sounds like. <laughs> this article offers a controversial perspective that calls for a serious and open discussion on animal ethics and sex ethics. And then animal ethics and sex ethics, animal ethics and sex ethics. What the fuck is what we need to do is shut down all academia and fucking put them through uh, uh, re-education camps. Right. We, we need, okay, look, one thing, you know, maybe Hitler did right was uh, <laughs> education, <laughs> education camps type thing. You know what? Like, like uh, the president Z with, with the Uyghurs right now, what we can do is, is have people like president gay uh, and co and, and put them in these re-education camps because what the actual fuck, what is wrong with people? I mean, Look, have you ever, you know, sex I, is great, but have you ever tried sex with a, a wolf? Look, I think I think academia are the ultimate incels. Like we want to think that somebody playing and being a level 65 mage in World of Warcraft uh, and who bought all the, the DLCs and went through it all. We want to pretend that those are worse than this, than the, this, these fucking people. <laughs> um. Jay, they're clearly worse than this. Okay. Just again, open yourself up, open your legs up to the pleasures of, uh, I believe there's a, there's a play that Harry Potter was in called Equus. And go I think sleep with Ern right now. Go make a sex tape with Ern right now and send it to Peter Sing Singer <laughs> for okay. his dissertation. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Fine, I'll do it. And this is for this is for academia, freedom, science, whatever type type shit. Yes, academic freedoms. So you would think that this is worse, but apparently there is something to even top that, and that it comes in at number five with Richard Hen Heinous Naya. You know, you know who else didn't sleep with their dog? Hitler. <laughs> Uh, cold beer 69 says, did you know Hitler had a dog and persecuted um, academics? I, I, what? Yeah. He had a dog and persecuted academics because probably he saw an academic professor rape his dog. And that's how this whole thing that, happened. Are you saying Jay that Hitler what, did what he did because he was the original John Wick? The original John Wick. <laughs> 
John Wick based on the life and tales of Hit, of Adolf Hitler. We need to get we need to get a what's it called a uh, a Photoshop of John Wick with the Hitler stash. That, that needs to happen now. Uh, so Richard Hananea uh, coming in at number five. Now the reason why he's above Peter Singer in this uh, particular case is because he had a tweet that was much worse. Um, he had multiple actually offenses. So this first tweet, he wrote a brave position, not my cup of tea, but the marketplace of ideas needs this. That's right. The marketplace of ideas needs us to hear about how this person fucked their dog and how it was beautiful. You, you uh, know, oh, he fucked his dog, you know, he fucked his dog. Peter Singer is a dog fucker. Flapper on the locals says, Jay, this one is a mouthful, so I'll just go ahead and start with it. Actual Siraj Hashmi quote. <laughs> <laughs> Can't win. <laughs> I love uh, Jamin Toll. One thing maybe Hitler did right. I know, right? I mean, these are these are fantastic. Fantastic quotes, you guys. You guys can take yeah. out of context because it, it was complete. Okay, maybe it wasn't out of context, but yeah. Literally. Okay, you thought it was bad before. It gets worse now. This is Richard Hanisnea. Anus. Anisnea says, let's say Jeffrey Epstein wants to have sex with a 14-year-old girl and will pay her $10 million. The money will go into a mutual fund that will pay out when she's 21. The girl agrees, as do both of her parents. Should this be allowed? And are you male or female? And this was a, uh, it was a poll that nearly got, by the time that we screen screenshot it, it got 200,000, nearly 200,000 votes. I don't know what the results were, but what the fuck? <laughs> well, let's, let's search and see what the results were. <laughs> I'm, inter I'm very interested to see what right, the results You go ahead and look at the results, but like, I'm just trying to get inside the mind of this guy because, I mean, just first of all, just look at them. Can can I zoom in even further on his? No, you can't zoom really further. But just look at that. Look at that photo. Look at that Abby. Clearly, that's the that that's like the of a psychopath. Oh, I'm not even blocked. I thought I was. That is, I know Jay. I know you're thinking. Okay, so if if what? he if if this guy was you know, uh, stand stood in line with me, a Syrian, a Palestinian, we would know exactly that this guy was Israeli or a Jew. We yeah, we would know exactly. Oh, I was just gonna say. I thought you would throw him off a roof. If anything. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought we were we were saying. Uh, so here we go. So, thank God society hasn't been completely um, fucked. Yes, but where are the three? There's the three point three percent male and triple that amount of female. Nine point two percent yes female. Well, the Where? reason why the females say yes is because you know the majority 12. majority of females are whores. That's twelve and a half percent saying yes that it's acceptable. We need to put them on a watch list, and that's 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 what we need to do. Yeah, that's that's very um, that is a very sad percentage out of eight hundred thousand people. Um, uh, but cold beer sixty nine Raiders are. A Touchdown shy of 69 points. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So moving on, we got number four, Jay. And Hindu uh Hindustani Lion. Is that how you say Hindustani? Hindustani. Lion. And he comes. If you were a girl, your father definitely imagined having sex with you as you went through puberty, probably numerous times. And you're delusional if you think otherwise. Um, why are you? Why are your people so fucking? 
Yeah, There's like, and like this. Is it. it is. It's it, like there is a very big. Um, there, there's a, there's a, like a huge issue when it comes to uh, males within Southeast Asia. Not Southeast. South, South Asia. South Asia. Sorry. When it comes to uh, uh, Sri Lanka, when it comes to Pakistan, when it comes to India, uh, there is the, like the way they view women is insane. Like. If we wanted to to say that there was a nation of in, in, incels, it would be in 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 Selkistan, no, which is a group of all of those people, and and it is it is far beyond anything comprehend uh, like that you can comprehend when it comes to their thought process and their mindset, uh, especially when it comes to the female species. It's insane. Also, now that I am, uh, I can actually state that I'm a father now. Um, this is beyond, so beyond fucked up that I almost want to find this man and feed him into a wood chipper myself. Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. It is something that is, there is, there's no coming back from something like this. Zero. Um, yeah, not sure. Did, did they? Did they? Was that account nuked? I think it might have been nuked. They were listed. There we go. Oh, the list works to be these. The list works. So four years into the list being in existence, it still works. I will say though, the one thing that really sucks about all these other social media platforms is that not everyone is on on X or Twitter anymore. And therefore, the list isn't as juicy as it used to be. Um, but you know, we still we still find a way to find the worst tweets. For some yes, reason, one way. Uh, but there's there's one one um, vi- one one uh, that it actually goes with this. It's a video that that, yes, uh, Flap, Bart, uh, that Bart from uh, Flapper sent me. So this goes with what we were saying about South Asians. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on, Jay. I can't hear it. Are you sharing the actual audio? Did you boomer this again, Jay? You told I did me. because I forgot to I forgot to, to hit also yeah, share yeah. audio. What am I going to do about you? What? What? Jay, you you come and live with me, and yet you develop all of my boomer habits. Well, it's because when you when you're sharing a tab on this, it automatically shares the the sound. But when you're sharing a window, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. So you see this? My finger. Yeah, this finger is short. So this, I have my father has it, my grandfather has it, and my grandfather's father had it as well. But what happened was I married, uh, it was an arranged marriage. So we had seven miscarriages. And uh, if you look at the uh, baby, there is no legs or no arms. I was like, what is going on? So then we figured out that I share a gene with my wife, same gene. And that I have this, the gene was associated with this defect. And the same gene was present in my wife as well. But she doesn't have any of this defect at all. And that girl baby had this gene from me and that gene from her. And both together, boom. It was something called Greby syndrome where there is no legs, no arms, the heart and lungs didn't develop at all. So then uh, I analyzed my mom, my dad, and their ancestors and everything. Everybody is carrying the same gene. And the main reason was my dad married his sister's daughter. What? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Oh my, Jay! I tell you, I was not ready for that roller coaster to end the way it did. Oh, that, that is too good. Oh that man, that was too next good. Level crazy, but you know what, Jay? It's I've seen that. I've seen those types of birth defects in um, other Pakistanis because, yes, the that does exist in that part of the world, and it's. It's, it's, 
it's a lot of cousins marrying cousins. It's a lot of people staying in the family, and it's a lot of times like it's it's arranged marriages, and it's arranged marriages it, within within the, the family of the family. That's so the first it's heard. Of. It's it's nuts to me, like how many of them are actual engineers and and everything, because like Pakistan and India and stuff like that. That is the Alabama of of right. Asia. It is really unfortunate, but you're so spot on right there. It is absolutely the Alabama of, 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 of Asia. So um, coming in at number three. Wow, Jay, we're actually near the – we actually almost got through all of it um, before we hit 69 minutes. So that means we can um, can have some fun. Um, but, of course, we're going to – I don't know why I'm saying that before reading this tweet because it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> CTV News coming in at number three tweets out Canadian peace activist Vivian Silver, who went missing after Hamas attack, has died. Obviously, a terrible, terrible story. Um, let us see what the actual. <laughs> so the. She just went missing, okay? She just went missing. That's what they lead off. Who off went with. missing? Yeah, I know. Like, like it's... <laughs> uh, the son of the Canadian peace activist has confirmed his mother's death, saying she was murdered by Hamas on October 7th. Um, I don't know how you get from that to this. She just died. Died of natural causes, you know. Naturally. <laughs> she naturally took a knife to the throat natural causes it's 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 nuts but it's also going to show like what we were talking about when it comes to the media and the way that they are are reporting on this issue is that it's so lopsided they cannot and especially places like canada that are so far gone and so far left they can't show the 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 israelis and the jews as victims when it comes to october 7th you have people in these newsrooms that are so far gone that they actually believe that October 7 was justified because right. it is is fighting the oppressors and it's fighting the occupation and it's fighting all of these different kind of buzzwords that they want to say to justify the murder, kidnapping, and beheading of Jews. And you see this with their, the way that they report it. You see it with the way that they tweet, tweet things out. You see it in, in places like the New York Times that tweeted out the, the false story of the airstrike on the hospital. You see it, uh, you see it with the, the, the people who work at the, the Washington Times, like the Karen, um, uh, the Karens of the world. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely undeniable that we have complete garbage shit stains who are journalists, reporters who do this. And, and it's the same thing with the, the Canadian uh, – and it's even worse with Canadian news because they are so far, like, compromised uh, on yeah. the left. It's, there's no hope for Canada. So Honestly, we should just we – we should nuke it. And just to have radioactive polar bears roam and live in the in the fucking. Uh, we say here. this. We say this knowing full well that like half the Rumble staff is up in Canada. <laughs> Well, I mean, the, the 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 best people for Rumble are here already in the United States, and a lot of them are moving, yeah, from just, Canada uh, to to the uh, United States. So uh, <laughs> hopefully, they do it sooner before we fucking nuke the place. I I can't. I don't know what to tell you. Hockey maybe, here is better. Maybe, maybe also get your families out of Canada too. Oh, look at that. Yeah, but I mean, how far back? Do, I mean. Like really, how far do you want to go? If your grandparents are still alive, okay, take them. Yeah. Who else? What that. else do you want to do? Like yeah. uncles and aunts and stuff. What matter? They that doesn't fucking cousins. Who fucking cares? Go where, be friends with that? your neighbors. Your cousins are your friends. Like you can go and get new cousins as your neighbors and just be friends with them. <laughs> uh, uh, work colleagues. I mean, fuck. What's a cousin? Get new cousins. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the bb bros uh recommendation for the holidays we're worried about worried about family fuck them get new family who gives a shit coming in at number two here let's blow this up i'll this blow you later Jackie six Fife. million how 
their number system only allowed for 999,999 at the most during World War II. If a German mechanic was caught with a hammer in his toolbox, he was put to death. This is because they were highly detailed people who pride themselves on accuracy. Yet, I'm... I feel like there's more to this. There is. And um, unfortunately, uh, from what I can tell, is they deleted it. Meaning, oh my God, and he follows me. Oh my God! <laughs> so he, he might be watching this right now, being like, bro, what the fuck? Holy shit. Yeah, but you should you should deserve to get listed. There are many people that uh, have confronted me about getting listed. I'm just like, look, the tweet was shit. It's getting listed. I you know I don't make the rules here. I mean, uh, you had uh, this this one. What what's her name? Emerald. Her name was Emerald, right? Emerald Robinson. Yes. Yeah, Emerald Robinson. Some stupid two years later, fucking still off about the list. Some, some dumb. Day. Fuck! It, it happened like uh, like last week or two weeks ago. No, it happened it, it recently. It happened a mu- it happened almost a month ago, Jay. No, it happened while I was here with the uh, with Stevo. I remember. Oh yeah, that's right. So it happened like at least a couple of weeks ago, and uh, she she went off on somebody in Rumble. Uh, uh, and and, no, no, out. not went off on. She found out you worked at Rumble. And she got so pissed off of, uh, about you working on Rumble and, and had to tweet about it over a listing that you did that she – it was a wild fucking take anyways about the vaccine too. I mean like, yeah, we get we get like the vaccine isn't all what it was out to be and there's a lot of things to it. But her fucking take was some fucking insane crazy thing like, like they're injecting you with devil sperm. In the, yeah. in the in the in the in the vaccine type of fucking crazy. I'm talking like fundamental fucking insane. Like the fucking stuff that like goes against like actual common sense and logic. Just that type of stuff. Like, look, I'm all about spirituality and belief in the higher power. Unlike Jay, who's condemned to an eternity in the hellfire. But still. I at least know my physical limitations and I just can't like, that's a, there's a bridge. I just can't divide. I can't, there's no, there's a gap. I can't bridge right there. And Emma Robinson still pissed off about it. Look, she could be as pissed off about it. She wants to, the content that she was giving me was fucking phenomenal. I'm telling you like, I I actually want to find the exchange um, of, of of I, I want to find the exchange because it was really good. So if one of the Habibis in the chat can find that um, specifically in the locals chat. Please send that link so I can go ahead and talk about it. But in the and meantime, what, and what so- what's fucking hilarious too is that she was trying like Rumble is known for allowing and being a, a place where you can express yourself to the fullest. And she's trying to get you fired from a place that is allowing people to be and express themselves to the fullest. Like it was, it's, it made zero fucking sense. It's it was insane. Hilarious. Like it's literally in Rumble's mission statement to be against cancel culture. Right. Here she is trying to get me canceled from Rumble of all places. Like I get if I mess up, like that falls on me. But for just simply like, like even for the, she's trying to get me canceled for stuff that I did before I even worked at Rumble, which is really funny. So, oh well. In any event, Jay, are you ready for number one? Are you do you, do you know? See. Are you prepared for what number one is? Fuck, let's let's go for it. Let's see what you it is. I mean, this the, you saw this was this this was fucking insane. Or Hindu standing this, was number four. This is number two. Like this in and of itself is fucking insane to be the only a number two. So number one has to be a fucking doozy. You ready for it? A drum Let's roll. Go. Drum roll. We're drum roll. Get ready. Gretchen Felkner or Felker Martin. 
who honestly, oh Ben found the found Emma Robinson tweet, but let's oh, get to, fuck. Let's get I thought that one. was I thought that was uh, uh, Fuzzy's mom for a second. It looks exactly like her, <laughs> especially when she's on her knees. That's fucking nuts. Yeah, that's shit, that freaked me out a little bit. Uh, what he sees, what 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 she what you see, and what she sees. This is what you see, right? And you know this is I mean? what she sees. Yeah. So Gretchen Felker Martin tweets out, can safely, can pretty safely state that Bin Laden and I did not uh, agree on much, but blowing up the World Trade Center is probably the most principled and defensible thing he ever did. That is, ooh, Jay. (laughs) Um, What are the drugs that she's on? Because holy shit, I don't know how you come up with that idea sober. (laughs) Come. Look, the only thing that uh, that uh, that uh, Osama bin Laden ever le- released that is is kind of respectable was his ten top ten anime watch list. That <laughs> and coming out with it in two thousand and one was was very was very ahead of its time. Uh, he had like you uh, you uh, uh, Yu, Yu Hakusho. He had uh, you know Captain Majid, which is uh, which is Captain uh, Tsubu. He had uh, he had uh, uh, Ronan, Ronan Kinchin. Uh, there was uh, there was um, um, uh, Pokemon. Like these were these were very very extreme classics that I think are are very very good to Hunter X Hunter the original 1999 uh, anime release. Wait, hold um, on. Bin Laden ranked hentai or and Bin Laden ranked- No, no, no. Anime. He, he, he anime Martin. actual anime. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Look, hey, Bin Laden was a piece of shit, but he wasn't a degenerate. Okay, he didn't watch hentai. He was watching anime. He was a man of culture, <laughs> as we all are. He was not uncultured swine like that freak Abu Bakr al Baghdadi. Didn't even have a stash of hentai or or you know poop porn in his in his uh, bedroom of his hold out where, where was he hiding out was he actually in do we know where he was was he in a room? uh he was in a room uh somewhere and uh it's kind of wild because they used robots and dogs to kill him and i think it was like uh, they blasted through the wall and i think it was in his room and i mean that's a wild thing to see imagine, you know what i mean like Imagine playing like Call of Duty, and we all know that Abu Bakr al Baghdad. He was probably like playing games online, and boom! All of a sudden, like they just come. You in. know, dogs just like rape his face, right? And the robot just sits back and laughs in the robot voice. So ha 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 ha! ha. That's he's getting face raped by a dog. So what you're telling me is that's, that that's an image. That's an image for you guys. So what you're telling me is that this is actually Abu Bakr al Baghdadi, right? Absolutely, getting his asshole absolutely smoked by this by by one of these German shepherds. Absolutely, getting that asshole absolutely torn up. Yeah, I think Peter read the Osama bin Laden letter and he was inspired to go fuck a dog. I I believe it. I believe it. So yeah, there you go. There you have it. Here's your number one, Gretchen Felker Martin, tweeting out scumbly. Uh, Fuzzy's uh, Fuzzy's mothers look alike. Exactly. Amazing, right? Amazing. The so, score. The score right now is fourteen sixty three between the Chargers and the Raiders. This is absolutely. This is nuts, dude. Insane. Absolutely nuts. This so is a complete breakdown it. in leadership. While we, uh, thankfully, Ben is not completely incompetent. I mean, he still is incompetent, but he's not completely incompetent. He was actually able to find this. So this is what Emerald Robinson told me. <laughs> She said, just learned that Rumble hired Siraj A. Hashmi as its head of creator partnerships in 2022. That's the same loser who cheered when I was deplatformed from Twitter in 2021 because I warned people about the COVID vaccines. That she didn't warn people about it. That wasn't a it, that she it she was so far fucking hinged. Do we have the actual tweet? Like the actual tweet that was listed? We're gonna get to it, Jay. We're gonna get to it. Okay. 
Um, because it was it wasn't like a simple thing saying, you know, uh you guys watch out. This thing hasn't been tested really. You know, uh don't set. believe nothing's a hundred percent. Yeah, here. Okay, and by the way, this is the tweet specifically where I again I'm running the list. <laughs> so funny, I wasn't that microphone. far off. No, okay. <laughs> this is like back in the list heyday. You know, back when I would like actually get in trouble with people because um, 2001. That's when this was listed. And, and the funny thing is 2021. Jay, what 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 planet are you on right now? But the uh, deleted, removed by Twitter, but the list comes for all. It says uh, November 2nd, 2021. That's when it was. Yeah, you said 2001, Jay. No, I said, tw- look, it's I'm still. I, the glory. Look, days the glory days of tw- uh, 2001 can never be. Uh, can never be uh, replayed and, has, and, and redone. This guy has September 2001 on his mind all the time. Honestly, that is my next tattoo. Why not? 9-11. I should, I should probably tattoo that somewhere uh, somewhere you're, on me too. Well, yeah, you you're in Florida now, so you have to get it tattooed on your face. And never forget and the never. two towers. <laughs> never forget the two towers with the plane and, and, and the date. Never forget the fallen... 19 soldiers on that day <laughs> and, and tattoo every one of their names <laughs> next thing you know you turned into a buffalo bills fan and it's over oh my god i would never be a buffalo Bills. right fan. after he became a miami Dolphins. josh fan. allen is the biggest uh, josh allen is to buffalo fans what D- Dak prescott was to cowboy fans two years ago um, what's that a complete fake. So oh. what's really funny about this too is that I wasn't far off by saying that they. she said that they put a uh, devil cum in the vaccine before they shot you up with it. So Emerald Robinson tweeted back in 2021. And again, I only put it on the list. It's not like I went to Twitter and said, hey, you need to take this tweet down. No, all I do is just shine a light on a tweet using a list and I just make fun of it because – why the fuck not? So Emma right. Robinson tweets out, Dear Christians, the vaccines contain a bioluminescent marker called luciferase so that you can be tracked. Read the last book of the New Testament to see how this ends. Okay, so that was what got her tweet removed. It's not like I helped her get banned or anything like that. Okay, so she tweets this. She's obviously pissed off. So I, what, what do I say to that? Well, apparently I had something to say about it. So I said, whoa, hey, I'm also the bottom of creative partnerships too. (sighs) Yes, that's right. I went there. So she went on. She said, how is Rumble a serious conservative venture? Its head of creative partnerships was the video guy from the Never Trumper outlet, Washington Examiner. Check out the talent guy. Explains a lot. Which, first of all, one, Rumble's not conservative. That's just what it's branded as by the corporate press. And two, I went into the examiner as a lib and came out even more further to the right than they were. So um, I had to respond. I, I, I like to I like to think that that, that happened uh, with the first DM you made with me. And that started your journey from being a fucking lib slowly but surely. Because you're getting double teamed, uh, you know, by me and Emily. Yeah, that that that, that is essentially one hundred percent true. So I responded, "You should look up who I married, Emerald." And then she responds, and she, "This is so great. I love I love this because she thinks she like really got me with this." She says, "So what you're saying, Sriracha, is that your wife got you the job? Was there a reason that Rumble didn't want to hire an American for the job?" Was this a bit of a DEI post or to lower labor costs? So that's where it starts. Where I, I, I definitely quote tweeted her. Oh, there's there's Damon the Mail Lib. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you, Anima. My wife left me. And what's so funny is like it, it, her saying like uh, they didn't give an American the job, like trying to pretend like you're not American is like absolutely fucking hilarious look how white you are i know like just because my name is funky doesn't mean that like 
it's it's so nuts. I mean, for for fuck's sake, your mom is from Cincinnati. I mean, there is like the the whitest states are where your mom is from and where my mom is from. Wait, my did mom's you from that Cincinnati is a state. Is it not? Wait, hold on. Cincinnati is in Ohio, isn't it? Yeah. So how could that be a state? Oh, okay, so it's not a state. Not not <laughs> Cincinnati. I apologize. I'm sorry. Honestly, I should sick Emerald Robinson on you. That bitch couldn't handle this shit. All right. <laughs> that stupid fucking high, high, strong sniffs. You know, Jesus come every other fucking day. We we'll, we'll can't handle this type of shit at all. She okay. is. She is like the type of people who are, um, who who not only give Christians a bad name, but also give you know humanity a bad name uh like the shit that she posts the way that she is is it makes me sick i hate people like her completely also i just want to point out she thinks that she invented the nickname sriracha for me that is a at least a decade old nickname for me it's not i thought you i mean you i thought you were called gay uh, uh, going through high school no 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 jay my middle name my my in middle school my nickname was faggot okay You went there, not me. Uh, I mean, <laughs> okay. So to wrap this thing up, we got a video here. Um, second city bureaucrat tweets out the ordeal of civility, and it's this video of this woman saying some shit. Let's see. I'm an American that lives in Europe, Germany specifically, and this is something that you need to know if you're going to Germany. German people will tell you what to do. Like, if you go to a bar, you go to the airport, you go to the train station, and let's say you're doing something wrong, the German people will be like this. You cannot do that here. This is not how we do the rules in Germany. Germany is a very structured country. And the first when that happened, I was like, if you want to get beat up, just let me know. But yeah, that's a part of German culture. We follow the rules. So you come into Germany, don't fight an old woman. Because you'll go to jail like Abby. <laughs> Honestly, I respect it. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. Right? That's American. I mean, that's, American that's, that's American as fuck. You bring that's your American. culture to their fucking country. That's not just American. That's American exceptionalism, Jay. Fuck yeah, it is. You bring it. I mean, I hope she like she took off her wig too. Be like, hold this for me and beat the shit out of that eighty-five year old fucking German woman. This is for the Jews. <laughs> All right, so we got this from uh, I want to say it's cold beer, cold beer sixty-nine on locals. Um, just with this screenshot, it says Finland's version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. What is the capital of Thailand? I don't know if you could see that. Let's go. <laughs> Choice A, Bangkok. B, Bang Dick. C, Bang Pussy. <laughs> D, Bang Tits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, bang Buzzy. Bang Bussy. Yeah, but you're going to Thailand, so you're probably going to be banging a dick. That's yeah, lots of Bangkok. That's a cox to be banged. So, anyways, the BBs. Um, wow, we really came back to one doozy of a stream. <laughs> we really did. <laughs> but uh, make sure you go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and the join button. As we said before, we got the non pores chat happening right now, which is what I just highlighted with that whole who wants to be a millionaire Finland version looking for the capital of Thailand. Um, the answer, obviously, is bang pussy. Oh, uh, absolutely. No, uh, yeah, bang, bang dick. Bang dick, yeah. But use that local's promo code, Siraj takes it on the chest, because, Jay, we have yet to schedule when that stream is going to happen where I'm going to get my chest waxed into it, Jay. I've been growing it out for you. Oh, I am going to wax the shit out of it. Absolutely. I'm and sure. and how he it, it, how this happened is that we actually played each other on, on fantasy, and it's another thing which that is BBC to participate in uh which when they joined the locals. Because you beat me, yet you didn't make the playoffs, and I did. 
Well, I didn't make the playoffs because it was a freak fucking accident. All right. That's the only reason why. And also Carl's a Jew and he is out to get me. That is what it is. Jay. Carl from Ohio is a Jew and he is out to get me. Also, Jay, it looks like you had your chest waxed. What's up with that? I did not have my chest wax. You I used did, Nair. You did something in your chest. I used Nair. <laughs> but I haven't I haven't done it since I got here. I used Nair before I got here. Um, and that's the hair removal stuff. And then uh, I'm just letting it grow out right now because I'm in Florida. This, this type of stuff is uh, acceptable. So what you do is you rub it here and then you rub it up here, right? That's how you normally do it? Yes. Uh, and then I also use a buffer so you can see the shine on my on my head. Ooh, get some wax on that. Wax that. Hell yeah. I wax it, baby. Um, oh, and we're also finding out that uh, what's his name? The male lib, Damon, Damien Toll, actually ratioed his girlfriend. Did you see this, Jay? Yes. I'm scared. I'm scared for Damien's safety. Look at this. Angela Bel Camino says, you see this bold live. Give me your best pickup line. And Damon, Damien Toll tweets out, did you fall from heaven? Because I'm worried you hit your forehead. The swelling is pretty severe. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Habibis, if you follow Angela, she is, she is absolutely, she went all in with the uh, character of uh, being. A, that, a, a f- Don't blow her spot up. That's very 9-11 of you. Yes, go follow the extreme leftist lib, Angela. Yeah, um, and then the Mayo lib, Damien Toll, who, by the way, I'm very proud of Damien. He's been shit posting more and more. He's been getting yes. it down, and uh, he's where, where? How many followers? He's got to be. At, he's got to be at 20k now, something like that. He's cut. He's catching up to you, Jay. And you've had your account for what two years? Yes, almost three. Almost three, but I get. I keep on getting uh, picked off crazy terrible so with that being said habibis we hope all of you have a wonderful weekend we are going to be back next week that's right jay we have a brand new habibi power hour next tuesday the hiatus is over okay jay and i are back that means throughout the holidays we are going to be streaming and stripping and uh 69ing all throughout uh, we will be ho ho hoing it up throughout the uh, the holidays or the holy days. So yes, sir. Um, so yes, Habibis, we love you all. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Um, we hope you uh, all take good care of yourselves and um, be good to each other. And don't forget um, that Jay, while in Florida, is still a lib. Absolutely. 100%. So, thank you all to the, our local supporters, the Habibis in the locals chat who come in and hang out and make us laugh. We appreciate you. Um, and if you join the local server, you can always join the Discord server right after. So we're looking forward to see. Jay, is, are those some Steven Seagal glasses you got on right there? These right here? These are, are uh, no, yours are the Steven Seagal uh, glasses. What are yours? Please. These are uh, from the new movie Civil War that's coming out uh, from A A to A two A or A two four. Attack on Titan. No, it's um, they're they're coming out with a new movie called uh, Civil War, and oh, it's a yeah. it's a new meme. We're gonna talk uh, about it on Tuesday. Yeah, that and especially the new meme that's out with it too. So I'm I'm just rocking those those glasses. Sweet Habibis. And before we go, we're just letting you know that we're also going to upload our stuff onto the podcast network. So Apple, Spotify, go ahead and follow us on there and then leave us a five-star rating or leave us a 6.9 star rating. If it's out of 10, we don't care. Anyways, Habibis, I've been Siraj Hashmi. I've been Jack Kobe. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Masadama.